Hello everyone. Uh, you know, today uh, I would like to mention something regarding uh, uh, miracles in the Quran. Always we hear Muslims, uh, Quran is full of miracles, Quran is full of miracles, etc. At the same time, the Quran says that Allah never sent one miracle. And we don't say things without proof, not like Muslims. You know, Muslims want to translate to you in English. You try to make the translation fit with a miracle. Well, in Arabic, it's a totally different story. I will show you that later. But now let me show you a verse in the Quran saying it clearly, Allah, he never gave any miracle to Muhammad. And one of the things Allah gave to Muhammad is what? Is the Quran. So if the Quran is a miracle, Allah should not say that verse. If any, there, any anything Allah gave to Muhammad have a miracle, Allah should not give this verse. Surah 17, verse number 59. And we refrain from sending the signs, signs mean ayat, yani miracles. Only because the men of former generations treated them as false. Now look at this false argument. Why Allah is not sending miracles anymore? Why? Because former generation treated them as false. Now who is the former generation who treated the prophet uh, uh, of God uh, miracles as false? We know that Islam considers Jesus as a prophet and uh, Moses as a prophet. So let us see. Did the Jewish consider Moses miracle like when he saved his nation through uh, uh, the water? Do the Jewish believe in that? Yes, they do. They do. Do the Christian believe in the miracles of Jesus Christ? Yes, they do. All of it? All of it. All of it. So when Allah say that former generation did not believe in the miracle of God supposedly he is the same God as the God of Jesus remember as Muslims claim and he is the God of Moses too right so those people who believed in Moses and Jesus until now who believe in their miracles why Allah saying they treated them as false when there is billions of people believe in these miracles the Christian alone today is more than three billion a human being do those people treat the miracles of Jesus Christ as false? So this is, was an excuse from Muhammad when they asked him why he cannot give us any miracles? He have to give an excuse. What was the excuse? The excuse is Allah refrain. Why? Because former generation did not believe in it. But the fact former generation did believe in them big time. Otherwise there is no Christian left. Otherwise there is no Jewish left. So it was just a, you know an excuse from Muhammad, but his excuse was not smart because if you think about it for a few seconds, you will see that he's lying. Number two, if this surah is saying Allah refrain, that's it, refrain, that's it, he stop from before Muhammad until now, because this surah is speaking for the present, and we refrain, and we refrain now from sending the signs why only because so now Allah is saying he that's it he's he's uh, he's having a strike <laughs> Allah is upset he will never send any miracles anymore so how Muslims can say that there is miracles in the Quran or Quran itself is a miracle or anything when the Quran itself saying there is no miracle I understand Muslims as their God they contradict themselves their God Allah he says something in one verse he says something else in they you know in totally different verse so we used to it it's okay uh, if I am a Muslim if I am a Muslim I will be so sorry to be one uh, but you know I will work hard to study more to read more to see what my God who claimed to be Allah is talking about and you know I don't want I don't want anyone uh, uh, to to uh, uh, listen to me without reading what the explanation of the verses according to them you will see that their God and all all you know uh, 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 and uh, sorry all the, the, the Islamic scholar including Muhammad they are saying the same this is a story قال المشركون يا حم يا محمد you the mushrikun the pagans they said to Muhammad you claim to be a prophet but there is prophets before you 
who God give them control of the wind, who give them control of uh, raising people from death, who have control of a lot of things. How come you do not have one? So to show them that he don't have one, not because Allah he cannot, because Allah he don't want to. He gave them this verse. So even this verse itself approving that Muhammad himself he is saying it clearly I don't and my God never gave me one miracle because you know he cannot lie about it because he can lie to you about it now Muslims can fool you now but for people who live around Muhammad they knew what he do what he did he cannot fool them so they are saying to him you never have a miracle how come he said because former generation did not believe in Allah miracles so Allah refrained and this is what Ibn Kathir is saying, not me. You can go to Al Qurtubi, you will see the same story. The same exact story. The Kuffar asking and questioning Muhammad, how come you don't have uh, miracles? They are asking him to do miracles. He said, well, Allah refrained to do miracles anymore because anyway people will not believe in it. And this is again Al Qurtubi what he's saying. They are asking him for a miracle. He said, Well, وَمَا مَنَعَنَا إِرْسَالُ الْآيَاتِ إِلَّا أَن كَذَّبَ إِلَّا تَكْذِيبُ الْأَوَّلِينَ The people before us, they did consider it as false. So Allah refrained. That's it. Allah will never give any more miracles. So it was very clear that Muhammad is running away from giving answer why he cannot give miracles why he cannot give an answer why he is a prophet without any signs the answer is Allah refrain Allah refrain so Muslims when they say Allah send miracles they are showing that this surah in the Quran is a lie thank you very much